Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And a while back, I designed this cute little tricycle. Somebody asked for one, so I whipped it up. Just lately, I got a comment. Somebody said, hey, why don't you add pedals? So let's get cracking. All right, friends, if you have not already made the triangle, I will have a link up above to that lesson so you can get done with that and then return to this and make your pedals. All right, friends, the first thing we need is the spindle that those pedals sit on. We're going to do that with the sweet featured shape called the bent pipe. Set a bent pipe down, and I need you to change it to these numbers. We're going to put a 2, a 1. We're going to change the arc diameter to 3. Leave the bend angle at 90. I want your lead in to be 7, and I want your lead out to be 1. Make sure you press center and wait for it to snap just like this. All right, so when it looks like this, this is gonna be the part that comes through here and the pedal sits on. Let's start by rotating it 90 degrees. I'm gonna just type the number 90 and press enter so it looks like that. This will be where the pedal is gonna attach. Let's zoom in so we can see it with fit view and I want you to hit duplicate to make a second one. Use the arrow keys to nudge that out four clicks and then I want you to click on the flip tool and we want to flip it that direction and this direction. So notice now these two ends are going to meet up. Click on the second one and just nudge it over and we want to connect it to this flat side. I'm going to use the view cube and click so I can see this corner. I'm going to put the work plane right on that flat spot and when we click on our second piece and hit D for drop, it drops to that exact size. I'm gonna switch my nudge to point one, and when I nudge it over, you can see that we can make that look just about perfect. Let's click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the second one, and we need to group those so they're one solid shape. We're gonna make another duplicate, and we're gonna move it to the other side, and we're just going to stagger it below. So you've got one pedal will be up and the other pedal will be down. I'm going to zoom into this corner with fit view and I'm going to use that same tiny nudge to get it exactly where I want. I can also make sure they're connected by just nudging it over a few and then putting the work plane in that spot and pressing D to drop the other one so it's really connected. When I'm happy with how those are lined up, I can click the first one, hold shift, click the second one, and I can group them to make the part that's going to attach to pedal our bike. We want to line that up, so I'm going to click on the purple thing, hold down shift, and click on the wheel, and click the red part of the tricycle, and I'm going to choose a line. I'm going to make the red tricycle the master, and I want to align them to the middle. I'm going to use control up and I'm going to switch my nudge to one and let's move that pedal up where it would go through. Use the nudge arrows to get it there and you can see that is how a pedal on a tricycle would work and here's a cool bonus. If you can find the rotation handle, look at that, you can see it pedals and does not touch the ground just like you'd expect it to. Let's return to the basic shapes really quickly and create our pedals. All we're going to do is bring out a box. I'm going to tell you to hold shift and squish it and I want you to type 6 for the measurement. Then I want you to change the height to 2. Let's round it with a radius of 2. Pick a color that you think is awesome. I'm going to give it black pedals because that seems most common to me. I'm going to make it more of a rectangle by changing this measurement to 7, or maybe you want to choose 8. And I'm going to use control up to raise it up. Now you can cut fancy things into this if you want. I'll leave that up to you. You can change your measurements. You can see how easy it is to make the pedal. And I'm going to do control D, and I'm going to move it over to this side. So now our tricycle has got two pedals. I do want those all grouped. My favorite way to do this is to grab the two parts of the tricycle and hide them. I'm also going to hide this center bar. And now I can grab these three parts. Notice it says three. I can group them 
and I can turn on multicolor in an instant. Bring back everything with the show all, and friends, you have just added sweet petals to your tricycle. I'm gonna double click this, and I want this center bar to be gray. I think that just looks a little more classy with what we've created. Really quickly, I would like to add another awesome piece. I want to have a horn. Let's bring out a cone, let's hold down shift, and let's shrink it and type the number 10. I'm going to do control D, and I'm going to do control down twice. So I've got a second cone below it, but I'm going to make that second cone a hole. When you've got your cone in the hole, shapes, group them, and you will see that looks a bit like the front of a horn. So now let's add the middle of our horn. Once again, we bring out a cylinder, hold down shift and shrink it. I'm gonna tell you the number we want is three, but we wanna click this height number and we wanna make it five. Let's align these. Make the purple one the master and do center and center. Let's hide this one for a moment. Let's lift this one up with control up. I'm gonna go like five up or six up. And then when we do show, you can see that it's coming out of the cone at a good spot. Instead of five, I'm gonna make that seven. I'm going to put the work plane on the top of that orange piece. And let's bring out a sphere. Hold down shift and squish it. And I'm gonna tell you that the good number for this is six. Grab those three, click a line, make the purple the master, choose center and center. Click on the ball and push it in with control, control down arrow. And friends, you've just made a cute little horn. I'm gonna make the squeeze part black. I'm gonna make the front two parts gray. And of course, cause it matches the bike, red. Or I could have left it silver. I think silver's cool. I'm gonna switch back to that. Take them all, and I'm gonna group them. I do want multicolor. And we need to twist it 90 degrees. I'm gonna put the work plane back to the ground and let's use control up arrow to raise that into place. And of course you can adjust your colors to make it look as cool as you want. You can also switch your grid and you can use that shift scale to shrink it a little bit if you decide it was a little bigger than it should have been for the tricycle. So my friends, there you have it. An awesome tricycle with pedals and a horn. There's still room for you to add things like maybe a flag, maybe come up with a way to put tassels off the edge of it, but it's a ton of fun and you're learning cool skills. The bent pipe tool is a pretty slick skill that you can use in a lot of your upcoming projects. I wanna send a quick shout out to Anime Window Thank you so much for taking time to comment and asking me to add the pedals. It is a sweet addition to the project. Friends, don't forget if you create something awesome or you just have a question, you can reach out to me. I'm on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram and I'm on Gmail at HLModTech. And I'm also on Twitter at HL Tinkercad. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.